Hello, you are watching Rotary Ukraine News with Tatiana Tsvilaya. Briefly about the main and the beginning of the release. Under the motto of Rotary Foundation Century, District 2232 Seminar in Poltava. Flash mobs, information campaign and the fight in our Dnipro. World Polo Day was marked in Ukraine. Journey to Belgium for Young Artists – the project by Intercounty Committee Ukraine Belux. We'll tell more about this and other events in a few seconds. Rotary leaders and well-known top managers in healthcare have met at the headquarters of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in USA at the 24th of October, the World Polo Day. The situation of polo in the world today and the prospects for final victory over a dangerous disease was discussed at the meeting. Rotary clubs from different countries have conducted a thousand different actions this day to support the fight against polo. How Rotarians from Ukraine have marked the World Polo Day up next. In Kyiv, on the eve of the International Day of the Fight Against Polio, the Rotarians and the members of Rotaract, together with the volunteers, organized a flash mob on the slopes of the Dnipro River near the Ark of Druzh bin Arodiv, The participators of the auction deployed the banners and distributed the info materials about the World Polio Day. Здійснили символічний політ в честь цього дня. They have undertaken a symbolic fly in honor of the Polio Day. They were Yevgen Polipko, Olya Yalovenko, Olympic champion Serhii Fesenko, Interactor Terians Vasil Polanko, and other volunteers who were eager to do it. This was not so easy. The weather was not good for flying. There was a strong wind. It was cold, but still everybody enjoyed much. People were interested in this event. In Rivne, the auctions for support of the International Day of the Fight Against Polio were held in the precincts of the Palace of the Yards and Children. Here the videos were shown and info flyers about the vaccination against polio were distributed. The parents interested in vaccination of their children could have a private consultation of head pediatrist of the city, Yuri Denisenko. In Mykolaiv, with the aim to attract the attention to the problems of the fight against polio, the Rotarians, volunteers and the representatives of medical communities marched the streets of the city, visited the children's small town Kaska and communicated with the parents of children at the puppet theater. Every Every citizen we met with first received the info materials about polio. Received a vaccination card, children received small souvenirs, and they could have a consultation of immunologists right on the spot. We are this close. We are this close. Two direct models. This close to making history. Of our Wantinti. Wantinti. We are this close. We are this close. We are this close. We are this close. This close to changing the world. We are this close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. We are this close to making history. We are this close to ending polio. Because we are this close to ending polio. We are this close to ending polio. We are this, this close, close to changing the world. This close. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. Is you. We are this close. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org slash end polio. The 2017 Rotary International Convention in Atlanta will be extra special. The Rotary Foundation will celebrate 100 years of doing good in the world, in the city where it all began. This is our time to come together to mark 
this important milestone. So please join Judy and me for the biggest party of the Rotary year. November in Rotary calendar is the Rotary Foundation month. The history of the Rotary Foundation is a hundred years of good deeds all around the world. District 2232 training seminar held in the end of October in Poltava was devoted to the issues of effective work with grants and program of the Rotary Foundation. Ina Sarioglas reportage continued the release. The programs and grants of the Rotary Foundation, social projects of the Rotary Clubs, fundraising as an instrument of increasing financial facilities by the Rotary Clubs, these and other pressing issues of the Rotarian activity have become an object of the discussion of the District 2232 Academy Seminar held in Poltava. The 26th and 27th Rotarian year is under the slogan of the Rotary Foundation anniversary. The history of the Rotary Foundation is a hundred years of good deeds all around the world. The development of all-around cooperation with the Rotary Foundation is the first and foremost task for the Rotarians from Ukraine and Belarus, stressed District 2232 Governor Hennady Krojcik. Now, when we have to inform about ourselves as a new district about our projects that are being developed currently, definitely we would like these projects to be of a great effect. Of course, such projects need great financial subsidiary funds, therefore their cooperation with Rotary, for today, is a key basic aspect of our activity. The cooperation with the Rotary Foundation is first and foremost the possibility to arrange global grants, joining the efforts of the Rotarians from different countries. The examples of such projects are the struggle against polio and the Rotary project of supplying world countries with fresh and pure water. Rotary Foundation Committee Chair Andrei Basic cites examples. Beginning with 1996, under the umbrella of the Rotary Foundation in Ukraine and Belarus, they were organized grants having a total sum of money more than $5 million. Now Ukrainian and Ukrainian clubs are realizing 11 projects and only these projects alone have a total sum of money $700,000. To give you an example, I say that $300,000 out of this $700,000. This is the money that was possible to withdraw with the help of the Rotary Foundation. The Rotary Club Ivano-Frankevsk right at this moment is finishing the realization of the global grant in purchase of the medical equipment for the original prenatal center as Alechka Kasavich arrived representative of the District 2232 Retract has informed. The partners of the Ukrainian Rotary Clubs have become the Rotary Clubs from Italy and the USA. With the help of this laparoscopic installation, it will be possible for many women to give birth to babies and at this stage to take their house and to intervene right at the moment. Our project is divided into two parts. When we finish one part of it, we are going to deal with another part of it. There is some more extra installation that is going to be the only in our region. It's important not only to use efficiently the Rotary Foundation help for the realization of projects, but also to reinforce the fund with your own contribution, stressed the speakers of the seminar. The Rotarians from Lviv shared the experience accumulated during this process. The donation to the Rotary Foundation can be made by different ways. For this can be some individual donations. Every person may donate a little or a big sum of money. If a person wants to donate a thousand dollars, then such a person gets the honor of Paul Harris. He or she may donate the sum of money individually, or this person may pay the money for someone else, or it can be donated by the club for someone else. By the way, some clubs, the club of the Lviv Center, contribute annually a thousand dollars to the Rotary Foundation, assigning the Paul Harris Award to the president who was finished the cadence this year. 
the president of the Rotary International appealed to every Rotarian in honor of the anniversary to contribute not less than $26.5 to the Rotary Foundation. This is an equivalent of the first contribution, which actually brought a new chapter in the history of the fund. And it seems that a new tradition was born on the seminar in Poltava. The Rotarians from Chikasi have made their contribution to the foundation on behalf of the Rotary Club Poltava as a gift for its 20th anniversary. Works on creation the multi-purpose complex named Mosaic in Hlinani in Lviv region continues. Mosaic is the giant project of Rotary Club Lviv and City Council of Hlinani, released with financial support of the European Union. Training courses and training programs will be released in the educational complex under the terms of the grant agreement. One of the main aims is to revive and preserve the traditions of Hlinani carpet production. For this purpose, specialized social enterprises will be organized at the complex. Representatives of Eberhard Shock Fund, which supports the development of vocational training in the building industry, visited hockey with the assistance of the Intercountry Committee Germany-Ukraine. The guests visited the Center for Vocational Education No. 2 and discussed the feasibility of center-based project aimed at improving the quality of education and training. Our correspondents know the details. Hockey Center of Professional Education No. 2 was playing host and receiving guests from Germany, the representatives of the Eberhard Schöck Fund. The fund helped the educational institutions that train specialists in the branch of construction with modernization of material resources and organization of proficient education. This project is long-term and it presupposes five years of our joint cooperation. The program of the project includes both training of our specialists, our representatives, and German specialists will train our specialists for proficient training of our experts in construction, respectively. The meeting that offers new challenges of development for our specialists was organized by both Ukrainian and German Rotarians. Past president of the Rotary Club hockey multinational Dmitro Lachvesky says that a preamble was started several years ago. I came to leaders of the secondary school and told them the whole idea of it. They liked the idea and we started to communicate with Herr Weiss, the deputy head of the fund. We brought him to Kharkiv, showed him the city, he was very happy. I showed him the secondary school and soon we planned a visit of Herr Müller, but the situation happening in our country did not let us to realize our ideas into reality two years ago, but we decided to wait a bit for the situation to improve somehow and we could plan our actions for the future. Будет организовано обучение по самым современным технологиям и методикам. There will be organized training considering the newest, up-to-date standards and techniques of Ukrainian and Kharkiv experts for construction specializations. We hope that it's going to be painters restorers who can very well and carefully renovate some kind of architectural heritage. For today, the Eberhard Schuch Fund has already been working with the higher educational establishments in three cities of Ukraine – Lviv, Kyiv and Vinnytsia. We know that the hopes are great, we have closely studied today's remarks, we know that the hopes are great, we have closely studied today's remarks and what we have seen today. But today, of course, we are still not ready to say something about some definite steps. But we are here today just for this purpose, to think together with our colleagues what have to be done, what are the timed plans and still are waiting for more and more info from our colleagues. A new step in cooperation of Rotary clubs of Ukraine, Belgium and Luxembourg. The project to Belgium with Seoul by the Intercountry Committee Ukraine Belux was presented at the meeting of the Rotary Club Hockey Multinational. The ambassador of Belgium, Luke Jacobs, has taken part in the meeting of the Rotary Club Hockey Multinational for the first time as an honored member of the club. 
of the Rotary Club um, International in, in Kharkiv. And indeed, it is my uh, it's the first time that I have the occasion to come and participate in a meeting uh, of uh, the Rotary chapter. And I think it was a very, a very positive uh, experience. I mean, I see. There has been said much about the development of cooperation between Rotary clubs of Ukraine and Belgium. This summer, in the framework of the Rotary project Zorin Elita, 16 Ukrainian children from families immigrants from the zone of ATO and families having soldiers in ATO spend their holiday in Belgium. Next year, 80 young artists, the winners of the creativity contest, are going to spend the year summer there. We take three applications of each city. If they are going to be 20, it is okay. 30, it is okay. They all will be numbered, and then via Australian ballot, artist Nadia Sinichak, who lives in Antwerp, she also heads the art committee. She will select eight works. The members of the Interact Club Hockey Multinational Renovation generated some months ago have told about their first projects and the way they see their tasks in Rotary. For me, Interact Renovation is a place where I can work with this one team because each of these girls, each of member Interact Renovation Interact Renovation's member. At the end of the meeting, Rotarians have presented Luke Jacobs' souvenirs in memory of Hockey and the days of pleasant communication. This is an unusual doll, Motenka. Since the ambassador has spent many days in Ukraine, he knows that it's a usual Ukrainian souvenir. This doll is unique and rare for everyone. For someone it means protection, for the other it's a symbol of children, for the other it's a mascot of money. more about people from different parts of our planet united in one community to make our lives and the world around us better from Vladimir Shaverin's auto programs Rotary and Rotarians Rotarian official Ukrainian magazine of district 2232 Rotary function in Ukraine and in all corners of the globe discover the world of Rotary multimedia publishing link under the video We've been here before, fighting the problems that fight back. But we can shift the status quo, because we see opportunities where others see obstacles. We're change makers and problem solvers, uniting over one million minds to address complex issues facing communities around the world, including yours. With passion and purpose, we've led the efforts to put an end to polio, now eradication isn't just possible, it's plausible. Every day we're investing in a new generation of leaders so we can continue to provide access to clean water, tackle global health concerns, support education, and build the foundations of peace across borders. We're working together as partners and professionals while making friendships that last a lifetime. We're Rotary, and there's no limit to what we can do. Rotarians from the Club Paul Tower welcomed the guests and received congratulations. Club has celebrated 20 years old. Rotary Ukraine News crew has also joined the celebration. Its 20th anniversary, the Rotarians of the Poltava Club celebrated in a historic place of Ivano Hill. Once there lived well-known writer Ivan Kotlarevsky. Charter President Alexander Rudovichenko recollected the first steps of the Poltava Rotary Club and first charitable projects. We have started with a sponsorship to the Poltava City Children's Hospital. These were the action connected with hospital renovation, purchase of medicines for the children who were treated in the hospital. Every member of the Poltava Rotary Club is an outstanding person, a recognized leader in the profession, 
and all of them in general are the union of like-minded people. Це не просто роки, це наше життя, це життя колективу, клубу. These are not only the years spent together. This is our life. It's the life of a group of people. People who are very responsible, people of distinction, people who beside the Rotary Club still much gain it in this life. Honor and praises for them, for their help and for the contribution to charitable actions made it their own way. Friends Rotarians came to Poltavians to celebrate their birthday with greetings and gifts. Poltavians still are having the same character makeup for 20 years. It's great. Now they are 30 people, and all of them are fine fellows. I am green with envy. An excellent club. The best club of the district. Keep it up. Keep it all abreast. And be in the courage of things, Rotary life and events. And you know, I would like to say great thanks to them. All the help contributed to Slaviansk, I mean some humanitarian aid they sent. It all started with the Poltava Rotary Club. I would like to wish them the Rotarians' happiness. Then they have more Rotarian actions they do, a Rotarian future than they will have. The hosts received their guests with the proper to the region hospitality, and the performance of the tour of the Poltava Rotary Club impressed with its excellence. One of the projects of the Rotary Club Poltava is the Liliak Alley. It was arranged on the 15th anniversary of the club. We continue this tradition, we plant these lilac trees, which we do hope will grow and will blossom and will make the Poldavians and guests of the town happy. And at the end of the festival, a member of the Rotary Club Poltava, Viktor Chubenka, invited the guests to his jolly farmstead in Dikanka for a Tarian barbecue. The paintings of pupils of children's art school in Semyonivka village became lots of the auction. Funds from the sale of works by young artists Rotary Club Poltava granted by buying the art stuff for small creators. We've already reported in one of the releases about charitable action in support of actor Alexey Rubinsky. Hockey citizens who care raise money for the operation, which should return to the actor his lost hearing. Reportage about the charity performance at the Hockey Puppet Theatre continues the release. In Hockey, the tradition of conducting a charitable auction is being currently revived. It has the name of the Day of Violet Flowers. In 1910, on this very day, Hockey citizens collected money for the Society of Medical Aid. In 2016, the Rotary Club Hockey Maria organized the charitable performance to help restore the lost hearing to actor Alexey Rubinsky. Today we have gathered here for the second time. The first time we gathered in the summer of this year. In general, all the public, all friends collected money to help him with his operation. The implant, which is going to be implanted to Alexey during the operation, costs about $25,000. This time, the Rotarians of Hakim Ria have invited spectators for the children's performance The Book of Jungles. Other Hakim Rotary clubs have also joined the charitable auction. Today, the representatives of these clubs and their families are present here in our hall. There are as well friends of our Rotarians, our friends, our guests, and also their families who were invited by the public organization Davira, families of the immigrants, mothers, and their children, who were very welcome to respond and to visit the performance. During the interval, the spectators have visited the museum of the theater, where they heard many interesting things about theater puppets. Even nobody of spectators have an idea that the masks are theater puppets as well, any mask that you use for the New Year celebration or for the Halloween. Yes, they are put on the head, and these masks used in the performance as sand and the sinner. They are different from those you put on, but they have no eyes carved in them.
The charitable performance organized by Rotarians have already made up the sum of 35,000 hryvnias. Alexey Rubinsky thanked everybody for help and promised that when he would have good hearing again, he would make an unforgettable performance for his spectators. When such things happen, there is always a help to live, to strive for something and to overcome the difficulties of life. It was the last reported for today. Don't steal the likes and share the links to Rotary Ukraine news in your socials. Inform us about interesting events in your Rotary clubs and we'll cover them in the nearest release. Productions, phones and email are in the description below this video. Join the multiplying of good deeds. See you!